As you have successfully configured SQL Workbench to connect to Postgres database, let us understand some of the key features of it so that we can leverage those to boost our productivity. First and foremost, ability to connect to different RDBMS data warehouse and MPP database servers such as Postgres, MySQL, Oracle, Redshift, etc. If you go back to SQL Workbench here, and if you say connect window, and if you actually select this drop down, all these database servers are supported using SQL Workbench. Some of these are RDBMS databases. Databases like Redshift are MPP platforms. Databases like Teradata are data warehouse appliances. To all those database servers, we should be able to leverage SQL Workbench and connect it to. Then the second feature is saving profiles to connect to multiple databases. Already we have saved one profile by name pg underscore ilms underscore sms underscore db. You can have as many profiles as you want here and you can even group them and you should be able to come back and connect to database servers as long as you have access to them. You don't need to memorize the password and other information to connect to database because of profiles preserving all those things. You just need to keep in mind that you named the profiles appropriately and also you grouped them so that you can access the profiles quickly while connecting to the underlying databases to which you want to connect to. Ability to access data dictionary or information schema using wizards to validate tables, columns, sequences, indexes, constraints, etc. Now, if you go back to SQL Workbench, if you click on cancel, this is called a statement window. You can go to something called as a database explorer by going to tools and then by selecting show database explorer. You should be able to see all the tables to which you have access to here along with other objects. Once you see those things, you should be able to review what all tables you have, what all constraints you have, what all sequences you have, all those details can be easily seen here. Now you can see the database objects to which the user ITVST underscore SMS underscore user have access to. There are only four objects, out of them two are tables, T and users are tables, and then two are sequences. You can even select the table and you should be able to see all the information related to tables such as columns, indexes, data, so and so forth. Depending upon the network speed between your system and the system on which the database is running, this might take a bit of time. If it is not responding, you just have to go to file and reconnect and then probably it will respond without any issues. For the first time, it might take a bit of time if your databases are remote and if the network connectivity is not very good. However, if you set up the database on your local machine, I think the performance will be much much better, but in actual projects, we will be connecting to the databases on remote machines. Uh, depending upon where those databases are, you might see the lack of responsiveness as you experience in your local machine. You can generate scripts out of existing data. In this case, if I go to this users table and if I click on data, you will see the data. You can right click on this and you can actually say copy data as SQL and you should be able to generate insert, update, merge, delete or insert statements, whatever you want. And you should be able to run these scripts in other database servers easily to copy data from one server to another server for different purposes. It can be for testing, it can be for troubleshooting, so and so forth. Ability to manage database objects without writing any commands. We can drop tables, indexes, sequences, etc. by right clicking and then selecting drop option. So in this case, if you have to drop any object, typically you have to connect to the database, run the drop command to actually drop the database. Instead of going to database and running drop command manually, you can right click on a particular object which you want to drop and then you can just say drop and it will actually drop the object. If you have dependencies and if you want to generate a script so that you can actually drop after viewing it, you can actually choose this drop script with dependencies option. Instead of dropping the objects directly, it will generate the scripts. You should be able to leverage those things to drop the objects after the review. Develop SQL files and preserve them for future usage. Now, let's say that we have this user's data where there are five records and we want to run several queries on top of it and we can preserve that queries in the form of a script. We can open that script at a later point in time and run those queries again. We don't need to just throw away whatever scripts we develop. That will improve the reusability of your SQL queries and you should be able to improve your productivity considerably in uh, your projects. Now let me go to statement window. I can select statement window here. This is database explorer. This is statement window. I can close this. Then I can say select star from users and I should be able to run by clicking on this and you can see the data here. Like this, you can have as many queries as, as you want. Let's say I also want to get 
count i can say select count of one or count of star from users and you can see both the results here so result one is for first query result two is for second query let's say now i want to get the count of users by user role i just have to say select user underscore role comma count of one from users group by user underscore role now i can actually select one query also like this and i should be able to run only that query now only one query ran if you just run without selecting anything it will run all the queries you can see here and you can see the results here now i should be able to save this by saying file save as let's say i want to have all my scripts under sql workbench folder itself it is not a good practice but for now i am saving there or let me actually use a different location let me use my research folder it is in my home directory i can cancel this and then i can say file save as then i have a research folder and then i want to create a new folder db scripts now the folder is created in this pg ilms sms users queries we can also give an extension by saying dot sql here and then we can say save now the script is saved you can close this if you want okay there is no close option here at least one tab has to be there so let me open database explorer here and then let me close this tab now let me open the file by saying file open pgilms sms blah 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 say yes and the script is loaded now i should be able to run this by clicking on this and you can see the results so these are few of the features which can be used starting from day one to boost your productivity as you get used to sql workbench you will be able to explore more and more features and if you use it properly definitely it can improve your productivity quite a lot while interacting with the databases to perform database operations as developers business analysts etc Almost all leading IDEs provide all these features in similar fashion. You just have to understand how to perform these type of operations for different types of IDEs which you might want to use. But most of these features are supported. What are those other leading IDEs? They are nothing but Toad, SQL Developer, so and so forth. Here are some of the usage scenarios for database IDEs such as SQL Workbench as part of day-to-day -day responsibilities. Developers for generating and validating data as part of unit testing. testers to validate data for their test cases business analysts and data analysts to run ad hoc queries to understand the data better developers to troubleshoot data related to production issues using read only accounts these are some of the usage scenarios there are much more than these but these are the most common ones by different types of uh, it stakeholders within the organization who can leverage id such as sql workbench to boost their productivity while interacting with the databases to perform database operations